Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Weiss 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate lithium battery. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. So in this video, I'm mostly just going to be doing an unboxing. So here we have some terminal bolts and caps. So there's a bag around the battery. It looks like it opens at the top so I can pull this out by the strap. So I'm actually going to take this off my bench so I can pull it out. So there's the battery, and it had this foam around all four sides. It seemed to be packaged nicely. Plastic off. So this is not exactly super lightweight, but it's quite a bit lighter than a lead acid battery would be. Let me get a weight on it. I think they say it's around 24 pounds or so. I'll see what I get. So I got 22.52 pounds. Now if you're counting grams, I don't have the bolts on there, but I'd say that's pretty accurate. So let's take a quick look at the manual. So you have table of contents. This talks about the features, different applications. This has a 10 year warranty. From what I've seen online, I don't know that the warranty is to be trusted with this. I don't know how easy it is to get warranty service on it. I'm just gonna hope it doesn't break. And here we have the battery specs. So this is the 100 amp hour model. The energy is 1280 watt hours. Standard charge voltage is 14.4 volts. Cutoff voltage is 9.5 to 10.8 volts. So the standard charge current is 20 amps. Allowed max charge current is 100 amps. So you have quite a bit of range for the charge on there. You can fast charge it. So it uses M8 volts on the terminal. The charge temperature is 0 to 45 degrees Celsius. Discharge temperature is minus 20 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. So the cycle life on this is greater than 2000 at 1C, 100% depth of discharge, and greater than 8000 cycles at 0.5C, 50% depth of discharge. So essentially what that's saying is if you discharge it slowly and you don't discharge it all the way, you get greater than 8000 cycles. We have dimensions on there. This talks about the BMS. The BMS is the battery management system, has charging tips, state of charge. So this is a rough estimate here. You really need a shunt to accurately measure the state of charge with a lithium iron phosphate battery. This talks about connection tips. So you can connect these in parallel or series. So in parallel, they'll have 12 volts. In series, you'll have 48 volts. If you connect four, you could connect two or three also. Then we have some other characteristics of it, some troubleshooting. So this talks about how to activate the battery. So if this has zero volts on the terminal, it doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. It might just need to be activated. So you can use a charger that's able to activate it, or you can connect it in line with a lead acid battery to turn on the BMS. So let me get these terminal covers off and get a meter here and test this. So the nice thing about this battery is it also lists a lot of things on the front here, has a lot of your stats. It doesn't get into deep detail, but it does tell discharge rates and things. So let's measure the voltage on it and we're at 13.36 volts. So according to this, we're over 90% charge. Although it says in here, that's not accurate. So then these bolts will screw into the terminals and the caps will go on top. So we have black and red for positive and negative. It's fit on there pretty tight. I'm not going to press them on because I'll be taking those off later. I thumbed through here. I didn't see the torque for these terminals, but you do want to make sure they're tight. If they're not tight, they could overheat. So that's the WISE 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate lithium battery. So a battery like this is ideal to go in something like an RV, boat. You could use this in off-grid cabin. You could also use this just for backup power. I've used a similar battery to this for a sump pump backup system. This can make for a good replacement for a sealed lead acid deep cycle battery. Lead acid batteries typically shouldn't be run below 50%. Lithium iron phosphate, you can run this all the way to zero. You don't want to run this to zero and leave it discharged, but you can use the full capacity of the battery. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.